Man, some of these fake chosen ones, they got the love of money in them. They really do. You know, one thing I don't like, I don't like people that scam. I don't like scammers. I dealt with scammers before. I've had my run-ins, my experiences with scammers online, and they do damage, man. They do serious damage to your financial situation. And, you know, these false chosen ones, you know, here's the thing, right? If you really are a chosen one, why the hell do you got to go on your channel, make a video of you begging your audience to donate to your GoFundMe? If you really a chosen one, why don't you have faith in the most high to provide for you? If you really are a chosen one, you would have faith in the most high that he will come through for you in your time of need, in your time of struggle. Right? Now, I saw this video of a fake chosen one, Trent. You know, he's a popular YouTuber. You know, you probably heard of him. Made a video of him begging his viewers for money. He said he's struggling. He said he is going through a financial storm right now. And, you know, I've never seen somebody beg their audience to pour into them like this before. I've never seen, and I can tell you right now, the amount of love bombing, the amount of guilt tripping, the amount of gaslighting, it, it was just insane. Insane, man. I'm watching this, man. I'm watching this in disgust. I don't feel sorry for this dude at all. Because I instantly kn knew this was a scam. And... I think people have donated over $8,000. Somebody had told me in my comment section that someone had donated this man $6,000. $6,000 just from one donation. That is a whole buckload of money. To donate to one person that you don't even know. And this guy calls you his big brother. Like, you guys got to be careful when people love bomb you. You know what comes with love bombing, right? It comes with guilt tripping too. Because they'll claim that, oh, I've done this for you. But I still love you though. I still got love for you, but I've done all this for you. You should, you should pay me. You should, you should donate to me because I did all this work for you. All of, all of these videos, all of this work is for you. That's what they will do. That's what love bombers will do. They'll, they'll, they'll try to ensnare you with guilt tripping and then claim that they have all this love for you right proclaiming everything they have done for you and it's like he was going on his his uh channel right and the whole time you know he is basically pointing blame Pinning the blame on his audience for the reason why he is in a financial rut. Right? He mentioned about some Wi-Fi bill. Fam, how is your Wi-Fi bill so high? You mean to tell me that it's the audience's fault for the reason why your Wi-Fi bill is so high? You got to think about it, people like this guy, you know, he makes 
a lot of money as a YouTuber, right? If you see a subscriber count, the amount of views he pulls in, right? He pulls in a lot of views, right? He has a lot of people manipulated and deceived. Now, I looked at his comment section and I see that people are calling him out on the BS, right? Telling him, go get a job, you know? And he has people, some people fooled, not everybody, but some people fooled. Obviously, that one guy that donated $6,000 to his GoFundMe, yeah, he was definitely fooled and deceived. Now, I'm just going to say this. For me, I would never do that. I, if I'm in a jam, a financial rut, which technically I am right now, as I admit it in my community post, I'm in debt right now. Right, that's my own situation that I'm going through. I'm about 13k in debt over a financial mistake I made years ago, right? And I'm basically paying for it right now. But I'm not on here begging. I'm not out here crying for some money. I'm not whining that I'm struggling. I'm the type of person that I ain't gonna tell you I'm struggling. I'm the type of person that's gonna figure it out and find a solution. Yeah, I don't like the situation that I'm in right now because I worked very hard to get myself out of a financial rut. I worked very hard to get my credit score up. And this particular debt that I owe, it's very important that I pay it off because otherwise there are consequences that are waiting for me if I don't pay it off, right? So obviously deep down I'm frustrated, but I'm not showing you I'm frustrated. I'm not showing you that I'm struggling because I don't, because at the end of the day, I'm not fake. There are a bunch of fake people on the internet. You know, they're going through, they may be going through a financial struggle, who knows, right? But to be crying to your audience, to be guilt tripping your audience to love bombing and all this gaslighting it's ridiculous it's uncalled for it's not of a real man real men don't do that if you really had chosen one of the most high you're not going to be crying and begging people for money you're not going to get all emotional Man, I'm looking at this video, I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, man, get it together. You going out sad right now. But here's the thing. I think, personally, he's not even struggling. I personally think he is finessing his audience to give him money. Most likely spend it on a woman or, you know what I'm saying, spend it on his own personal needs. You know what I mean? But the love of money will ruin people. You know, it will definitely ruin the character of people. The love of money is the root of all evil. And a lot of people, they love money more than the most high. And they've shown that. He's another example of someone that has the love of money in, in him. And it's definitely in him. So, once again, you guys got to watch out for the false chosen ones. Because they will do whatever they can do to swindle their audience. Do whatever they can to manipulate and deceive you. Right? Through financial gain. Like I said, I'm 13k in debt. I'm man enough to admit that on camera. And that got me feeling some type of way but I'm not showing you and begging and crying on here for y'all to support me you know if you're going to support me that's going to come from your heart I don't have to beg for nothing I don't real men don't have to beg for nothing 
And throughout the video, I noticed that his lack of faith in the Most High. The Most High is definitely not with him. I can tell you that right now. He doubts God. And that's what these false chosen ones like to do. They like to doubt God. They like to denounce the power thereof. And give power unto themselves. And look at themselves as they are a God. And that they are somebody that needs to be worshipped and praised all the time. And he's definitely one of those people. So for me, I'm not buying the story. I'm not buying his, oh, I'm struggling, right? I'm in need of money. That's because, you know, you made poor financial decisions. If you make good money as a YouTuber, you should know how to manage your money wisely and not spend above your means. But that's what a lot of people do. They overdraft their budget and they wonder why they're going broke. They wonder why they're low on funds and they wonder why they can't pay their bills off because they're too busy trying to look all flashy online and faking the funk, thinking they live in good, thinking they live in luxurious all the time. They want to put on this facade, this image that they're living all Hollywood. And so they spent a whole bunch of money to manage and to maintain that image. But then they want to come online and whine and complain and beg and moan for money. Talking about I'm struggling. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm in a rut right now. It's over for me. I'm going to lose this house. I'm going to lose everything. Like this guy is living in fear. Can't you, can't y'all see like that's not a chosen one. That's not. A real chosen one is not going to be living in fear of losing everything. If you're in fear of losing everything, then that's what you're going to sow because you're reaping that. You reap what you sow. So you're only going to, you know, you're going to basically manifest you losing everything because that's what's on your mind 24 7 you're putting more energy into what you're losing into what you're going to lose and you're putting energy into the fear of it so you guys got to be careful of scammers beware because they do exist and for me, I got no, I got no respect for scammers. I got no respect for men that beg and cry online for money. I was watching the whole video in disgust. I wasn't buying his story at all because I'm someone that can see. I'm someone that can see through the bullshit. And others can too. You know, hopefully you watching this video, you can see it through the BS too. You know what I mean? Shoot, I'm 13K in debt. I should be go starting me a GoFundMe. I should be doing that right now. Begging, crying for money. But I got too much integrity to be doing that. I got my faith and my trust in the Most High to provide me a solution. To get me through it. So. Listen. You know. One thing I learn about the world. Is that. The world supports fake people. Fake people get the most support. And real people. Real ones. They don't get no support. Only by people that are real. Which is few and far between. Real people in this day and age, they come in a dime and a dozen. There's not too many real people in the world. Authentic people. And that's just the truth, man. I mean, I got a lot more to say about this situation. 
And I guarantee you, he already, I mean, yeah, he got past $8,000 already. That was the goal. But you think he's going to turn off that donation? You think he's going to he, take down the GoFundMe? I doubt it. I doubt it. If people are dumb and gullible enough to keep donating, then hey, that's their problem. Right? And it's only more benefit for him because he's running away with other people's money. Not knowing that there are people that watch him that are struggling just like him. Right? But here's the thing. They're struggling more than him. I can guarantee you that. There are more people that watch him that are struggling way more than him. People that are homeless right now, they don't have a place to go. They don't have a roof on top of their head. They don't, they don't got a lot of clothes to wear. They wear the same clothes every day. They don't have a meal. They don't know when their next meal is going to come. That's adversity. When you don't know what your next meal is going to come. When, you know, you don't know when you're going to get paid or someone's going to bless you with some money. You don't, they don't know that. So all their faith and trust goes to the most high. So for him to be like, yeah, I'm struggling. I'm going through it. It's really a slap in the face to people that are actually going through the struggle in real life. Why do you want people to support you when there are other people in life that have no support, that have nobody pouring into them? You don't think that there are people right now that are struggling financially, struggling to make rent, struggling to keep up with the bills every month, they got to downsize, be a minimalist because they can't afford certain things. What about those people, bro? And I'm talking to, you know, the YouTuber trend, the fake chosen one, because that's what he is. He's a fake chosen one out here begging and crying for money. Like, get yourself together, bro. You a grown man probably in your 30s crying on camera probably make really good money it's not their fault that you don't know how to manage your own money that you don't know how to live um, within your means it's not your audience's fault that you are overdrafting your budget that you're living above it you got the nerve to love bomb and guilt trip your audience. Shame on you. Shame on you.